My name is Jim Fallon. I'm a technology executive. And uh, I found today's talk from Patrick Sweeney super inspiring. Um, he really made me realize that there is fear with me, uh, you know, along my journey every day. Feel physical sensations right now in your body. If you're afraid of snakes, and Rosa told me to get nowhere near her with this, <laughs> with this snake, where are you feeling it in your physical body? Because most people, in fact, 65% of people in the world deal with their fears by avoidance. And that relationship with fear um, can be uh, felt if you pay attention and can be sourced uh, as a positive energy, which is kind of the opposite of what it really does if you're not conscious of it. What we do oftentimes because of fear is we're allowing ourselves to be manipulated. Madison Avenue does it, politicians do it, even our relationships, our, our closest, most intimate relationships, we're oftentimes manipulated by fear. And it's a travesty. I'm going to share my biggest regret in a second, but before I do, I want to give an illustration of terrible decision making because of fear. If everyone remembers after 9-11, there is nobody who's not heard the statistic that flying is significantly safer than driving. After 9-11, if you look at what happened from accident fatalities in the third quarter, it's been pretty steady over the past probably 20 years or so since we've had modern technologies like airbags. The three months after 9-11, however, there were 350 additional deaths because of fear-based decision-making. And I'll explain this quickly. 10 to 12% of people who would normally fly stopped flying and drove. Hmm. Because of that, there are 350 additional deaths that those terrorists caused, and they caused it by terror. They manipulated people into making a terrible decision because of fear. So fear is one of the, it's probably the driving factor around our regrets. So I'm going to ask us to do one quick thing here. Turn around, find a partner or a couple people, maybe split the tables in half. I want everyone to come up with one or two regrets and then try and figure out what fear was driving it. So if it was not asking the prom queen out on a, on a date for prom or whatever, and it was fear of rejection or fear of failure, think of that. So let's just turn, turn and share. What regret we have, what fear it was driven by, it will take three minutes to do it, so a minute and a half, two minutes to each side. All right? So go ahead. Is it Probably the best part was it leaves you with these five tools that you can take away uh, to practice it on your own. So highly recommend uh, seeing him if you have the opportunity.